But here's a phone that should have been in India sometime in December, never came. So we're bringing it to you. The Galaxy Nexus, one of the better collaborations between Google and of course our very famous Samsung. So this is where I think things get really good. 4.65 HD, Super AMOLED and all the other things that really make it. But what's the big deal? The ice cream sandwich, the world's first ICS phone. Let's take a look. It's big, it's beautiful, and it's what we've been waiting to get our hands on in India, only to find it here in CES. The phone is slightly large, but it's crafted well to camouflage that size with curved edges. The look and feel is the regular Samsung style, all plastic body, but this one screams premium. 4.65 inch Super AMOLED touchscreen, 720 by 1280 resolution, and holophobic coating to further protect the screen from any scratches fingerprints or oil marks. Below are soft touch keys for back, home and multitasking but no search key. The big deal of course is the 4.0 Android operating system. Here are some of the very cool features that ICS brings to the table. Unlock the screen or directly access the camera or home page. Set a pin code or a pattern or use your face to unlock. But be warned, face recognition isn't the safest option and the phone warns you about it. Notifications are categorized neatly for easy access. There is fantastic data usage, monitoring application on which you can set a limit of data so that you don't overuse your very expensive 3G connection. The voice recognition and speech to text is a total city killer as How even in a very today? noisy environment, the fine. phone understood everything we said. Right back soon. Creation and merging icons has become more user friendly with the OS upgrade. All it takes to create a new folder is dragging one icon on top of another, easy to rename the new folder as well. Flip the phone around and there is a 5 megapixel camera which is not at par as most other high-end phones. Though some features like the panorama capture have been improved. There is a 1.3 megapixel front camera as well, it skips a dedicated camera key. The Galaxy Nexus is powered by a 1.2 GHz dual core processor and comes with onboard memory of 16 GB or 32 GB and a RAM of 1 GB. No micro SD slot on this one though, also 1750 mAh battery does seem a little less for this smartphone. Expect this phone in India within the next few weeks. Melodramatic, right? But I have to be melodramatic here because I'm at the Motorola stall and ever since Google seems to have bought Motorola out, this is the new aggression we were talking about. The number of new phones I'm going to show you right now, you will not believe your eyes. Rocking front stage for Motorola was the already updated Motorola Razr Max. This is the phone with the looks which are super thin and beautifully crafted. The power that runs off a 1.2 GHz dual core processor but most importantly the stamina. The phone has an unprecedented 3300 mAh battery that can give you a talk time of 21 hours. Yes, you heard that right. That's talk time, not standby time. That's why they call it the Razer Max and that too with two X's. Lighter to hold, this one seems to shed off the few extra grams that the Droid 4 has gained. The phone has a 4.3 inch display screen and a Gorilla Glass covering to keep the phone safe from scratches. The rest is virtually identical to the Moto Razer. Up to 32 GB storage, 8 megapixel camera at the back, 1.3 megapixel front camera, 1.2 GHz dual core processor. The Razer series is getting to be a very interesting one for Motorola. The Droid, the phone that set the benchmark for what an Android phone can be, has got into its fourth a star. The Motorola Droid 4, big and chunky to hold, the phone does seem slightly overweight. But it's catering to the Droid lovers and that's what they want. A 4-inch capacitive touch screen with 540 by 960 pixel resolution, the Droid 4 has a slide-out QWERTY keypad as well. And the backlit keys provide a good typing experience. 16 GB of memory on board and 1 GB RAM. It can support up to 32 GB using the micro SD card slot. No skimping on features here. At the back of the phone is an 8 MP camera complete with the autofocus, LED flash, geotagging. A 1.3 megapixel secondary camera on the front, a big jump from the VGA in Droid 3. Impressive. The Droid 4 runs on the gingerbread operating system, which is a disappointment. But the ICS update is on its way. A 1.2 GHz dual core processor splices this droid with all the power, while 1785 mAh battery holds the fort on usability.
It's the successor to the already successful Moto Atrix. At the CES this year, the Moto Atrix 2 caught attention. From the 4-inch display screen on the original Atrix, the sequel flaunts a 4.3-inch screen with a 540 by 960 pixel resolution. With memory expandable to 32 GB, it houses a 1 GB RAM. It is powered by dual-core 1 GHz processor. Motorola has given serious boost to the camera and optics. It is now an 8MP camera with autofocus and LED flash and there is a secondary camera as well. It runs on the 2.3 Android operating system and we are looking forward to the ICS upgrade. It packs a 1785mAh battery which pales in comparison to the Razer Max but then anything does. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.